Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and you are all very, very welcome along tonight to the world's strongest man competition, the mime edition. <laughs> Joining us in tonight's final, two of the world's greatest mimes will go head to head for this wonderful title. They have spent many, many months in the gym preparing for this event, watching other people lifting weights. But it all comes down to tonight. Oh, Jesus. All right, man. I don't know who you were watching, buddy, but... Uh, <laughs> they were doing it wrong, okay? Let's meet tonight's contestants. On the right-hand side, in the short sleeve shirt, we have Von Hammerschmidt. Von Hammerschmidt tonight will be miming a six-foot-eight Icelandic giant. He is, of course, a much, much smaller Irish man. His opponent this evening, McCrudden. McCrudden, the local favorite, the bad boy of mine, making his third appearance in a final. He is still looking for his first win, but in the form of his life. He blows a kiss to his imaginary girlfriend in the front row. She is looking absolutely beautiful tonight in his mind. We come to the first event of the evening, the deadlift. Up first, we have Von Hammerschmidt. He approaches the bar. Of course, in mime, nobody knows how heavy the weights really are. <laughs> so it'll all come down to technique. Let's see what Von Hammerschmidt can do. No, he's not happy. He backs away. <laughs> not feeling it. He's right now. This is a very important lift, this first one. He has to get settled. And here comes the lift. Von Hammerschmidt. <laughs> no, he's not happy again. He backs away. Oh, he wants the crowd on side. He wants to build the atmosphere in the room. I can't blame him. And here comes the lift. That's wonderful. That's nice tight control. It's a clutch position. And up, locking out. Wonderful. Very realistic. And the judges love the realism there. That is what we were after now. Von Hammerschmidt absolutely exhausted from doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Well, the physical manifestation of that exhaustion there. And into the fray comes McCrudden for his first attempt. For some reason tonight, he's brought two sheep. We're not quite sure why. But uh, his mascot, bam, bam, off they go. He raised them from lambs. Now, here we are. The first lift of the evening. And that is an unusually high bar for a deadlift. Perhaps trying to seal a couple of feet on his opponent there. No, he, no, no. Excuse me, he's lowering the bar in every respect at the start of the show. That's nice to see. <laughs> Let's see what he can do from here now. McCrudden, no. No, he, no he's not happy. He's, he's backing off. He's, what's he up to here? Oh, he's adding weights to the bar, yes. He's obviously feeling very, very confident tonight. He's going again now. He is very confident, and now a heavier weight, so the bar, of course, unevenly weighted now. <laughs> oh, what incredible strength. He walked straight through the bar. That was... <laughs> he brushes that one off. Oh, and now he's picking up his girlfriend. A little kiss of encouragement. Nice to see. They are engaged to be married, of course. An event coming up very soon. And no, he's impaling her on the bar. <laughs> to even out the weights, a fierce competitor. He will stop at nothing comes back to the bar, which is it again in a new position. No, he's back. No, okay, there we go. It's still a little high, I would say. But that's good. Okay, here we go. The first lift from a Okay, he's up into a T-Rex early on. It's not very realistic. On to the neck. We're looking for realism here now with the judge marking system. And now he's struggling to get it over the head. What's he going to do here? He has to lock this one out. He's bringing it up. He's bringing... Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you know this about mime, but it is incredibly difficult to mime sweat patches. However, <laughs> if you are in any doubt as to the level of commitment this man has so early in the competition, it is written large on his armpits right now. Now, one-handed, no, you can't do that. No, that's not realistic. He's twirling it. No one is buying into this. This is completely, he's now playing basketball with it. Von Hammerschmidt does not like what he sees here. He's throwing it away. He now, he takes his girlfriend off the bar, puts her back into the crowd. She is, of course, dead. <laughs> now, folks, before we continue, we are honored tonight to be joined by last year's world's strongest mime, a fierce, fierce competitor. His nickname, of course, was the four-man Paul. It's great to have you in here tonight. Uh, such a tough competitor. 
Your retirement came as a shock to all of us, really, but uh, wonderful to see you here supporting this great art form. How do you think tonight's final is going, Paul? And that's an awful lot to say for a mime, Paul. Uh, he's really fallen out of practice in his retirement, but it's great to have you here. The guys, of course, massive fans watched you uh, when they were growing up. Now, the second event is the Atlas Stone. These giant heavy boulders have to be lifted onto the pedestal. First, Von Hammerschmidt. He really is so technical, it's beautiful to watch. Okay, and that's nice, tight control, rolling the boulder onto the chest. Sidling across. Oh my God! Oh Jesus, he's dislocated his shoulder. This is absolutely gruesome stuff right here. Flailing around in. And the second shoulder gone now. The boulder hits the floor. He is making this so much more difficult than it actually has to be. He flails at the boulder, but it's just not going to work out. And that's very sad to see. He's going to have to forfeit the rounds. Limp noodle like arms. It's, it's very sad to see. McCrudden coming across now to, he's offering condolences. Ah, uh, he knew, he knew what he was doing there. He is the bad boy of mime, of course. He has a reputation. His father before him was a very, very well-known, popular mime. So, of course, growing up, McCrudden was poor. But now we are at the final event of the evening and the scores are tied. So it'll come down to this event to decide this year's champion. It is, of course, the mimed tug of war. Well, competitors take up their side of the rope. And we begin. In three, two, one, and they're off. Who's gonna make the early gains? It looks like it is Von Hammersmith. McCrudden in all sorts of trouble here, being pulled across. The fight back is on, and that is the best in sync. You guys have done it on filming night. Well done. That is really great stuff now. A stalemate developing between these two great competitors. Neither willing to give nor take an inch in this epic battle of the mind. But something's gotta give, and it's gotta give quick. It looks like it's McCrudden. He has an idea. He takes the rope, he ties it to his genitals. What is happening? It's a crotch pull! Incredible work! This is terrible stuff now for Von Hammerschmidt. He's in big trouble. Disco fever happening here. What is gonna happen? It's gotta be Von Hammerschmidt. He's gonna do something. He has an idea. He takes the rope. He flicks it into the groin of his opponents. Wonderful work there. And the doomed up. This is us in Perth. But if you can't make it to our live show, you can. We're gonna do the live stream of our previous show, Swines, on March 16th at 8 p.m. I have tickets on our website. Yay! Yeah. 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 Yeah.